Can fruit ferment on its own? Fermentation is a process used in all types of alcohol making and has been developed throughout history. Alcoholic fermentation is a phenomenon that occurs when yeast converts sugar into mostly ethanol, alcohol, and carbon dioxide. Fermentation requires certain conditions that can happen either naturally or forced. When brewing beer or spirits, yeast is usually added manually for the fermentation process. However, most fruits and berries have a natural presence of yeast attached to them, making them perfect for fermenting. Fruits and berries also have various content of natural sugar, which we know is also necessary to make alcohol. Grapes are the most popular fruit variant because of their high sugar content, as well as their rather thick layer of wild yeast on the outside. The natural fermenting of wine. Naturally making wine has been done for hundreds of years and is one of the oldest alcohol making processes. Essentially, all you have to do is crush the grapes and make sure you place them in an airtight container to start the fermentation process. When grapes for wine are ready for harvest, they have very potent sugar content. This sugar content is vital for the wild yeast fermentation process. The wild yeast is, as you know now, already on the berries themselves and covers their surface. When you crush the grapes, it kicks off a natural reaction where the yeast on the outside of the grapes reacts to the sugar inside. During this process, the wild yeast is responsible for creating the flavor in the wine and the texture and general body of the wine as well. The increase in the alcohol level naturally stops the fermentation and gives you a sign that the process is over. While yeast helps create alcohol, alcohol also kills the yeast. Once the alcohol levels are at a certain level, the yeast will stop working and die out. This indicates that your fermentation process is coming to an end. After fermentation, you bottle your wine and let it condition for as long as possible. Like you probably know, the longer a wine ages, the better it is considered to be in terms of quality and taste. Drunk animals in nature? Sometimes berries or fruits will ferment because they are either crushed on the ground or because they have a crack in the surface, giving the yeast access to the sugar inside. This can create some rather fun incidents where birds will eat wild berries and get somewhat wasted. The effects aren't that effective on humans since the alcohol content in these types of fruits or berries is rather low. Conclusion To sum up, yes, most if not all fruits and berries can ferment on their own in the right conditions. This practice is mostly used when making wine, and grapes are the best for this use. You can find fermented fruits in nature, but mostly they are man-made since it gives better results in general. Interesting, right?